Well, heating companies, as you might expect, have been awfully busy making repairs to furnaces that have been breaking down. Let's go to Roger Weber, who's live tonight in Utica. Roger. Well, Devin, in weather like this, we're supposed to shiver out in the cold, not inside our houses, but plenty of people are having furnace trouble. At 5 this morning, the Shelby Township homeowner woke up to a cold house. A gas fireplace and a space heater cut the chill until help arrived. Tim Jury is a service technician for Rendazzo Heating and Cooling. In this weather, he's handling 10 to 13 calls a day. Temperatures around zero can make a furnace run 40% more. Like with anything, the more you stress it out, the more opportunity it has to fail. So what went wrong with this 17-year-old furnace? Look to the lights and you'll have a pretty good idea. This is obviously a new filter that we're, we're going to put in here shortly. Um, this is the older filter. It's collected a lot of dirt and dust. And what happens is it starts to snuff down the airflow of the, uh, the furnace, and it'll actually get pulled into the blower system just due to the, the blower pressure. And that's kind of what we're seeing here with, the, with how it's bowed like that. The furnace automatically shut down because it was overheating. How often should you have your furnace checked? Uh, we recommend every year. Once a year, get out there and clean things up, check it out, make sure everything's performing as it should. Randazzo says an annual inspection costs anywhere between $100 and $185. That's not just for efficiency, but for safety, too. As for those filters, this one is a 90-day. Uh, they also go for 30 days or even a year. So be aware of how long your filter is supposed to last and give yourself a reminder on when you should change it. Reporting live in Macomb County, I'm Roger Weber, Local 4. So, Roger, we assume they've got heat back or still relying on the space heater? Yes, they do have heat back. They got the old one running, but it is a 17 year old furnace. Uh, that's about the average life of a furnace, so they are going to get a new one. Yeah. All right, Roger Weber reporting from Utica, where that's an expensive reminder of how cold it's been. Ahead at 5 30, we're tagging along with restaurant delivery drivers as they bring hot food to those uh, not wanting to venture out in the cold. At 6 o'clock, repairs can cost thousands of dollars. I guess better than buying a whole new furnace, as we were just talking about. But how to prevent one particular kind of damage the cold can do to your home? We'll have more on that. And Remember, to get the feels-like temperature and look at the wind speeds anytime, go to clickondetroit.com and click the weather.